Hi painting people. Today I want to share with you the swipe technique. You can use it as a standalone technique or to rescue a painting that's gone horribly wrong. Before we start, I want to show you, I want to go back in time and show you something I did in July of 2016. Back then there weren't very many people sharing this technique, but I was trying to figure out how to create cells. And unbeknownst to me, some other people were trying to figure it out as well. One of the only things I could find was a YouTube video called the Sicaro Accidental Painting Technique. And it talked about paint density. So I looked at that video and I tried to work with the paint density. They talked about the lighter density paint rising up through the he heavier density paint. So I took some white, I thinned it down, I poured it on here. And then I took some black, which was more dense, I poured it on and nothing happened. So I thought, okay, I don't like this. So I took a popsicle stick and I scraped it. I removed some of the black and sure enough, these cells popped up. So that was the beginning of me learning about the cell technique. Back then there was no pouring medium. I didn't use pouring medium. I didn't use a torch and I did not use silicone oil. So now we're going to fast forward to today. I have individual colors mixed up. They all have a few drops of silicone oil in it, in them. This is, I'm using treadmill belt lubricant. It's 100% silicone. I'm not sure it matters what type you use. So I've got these individual colors and I'm going to just start pouring. Again, all these colors have silicone in them. These are just some colors I like. Now I'm going to pour some white. The white seems to have the most density even if you thin it down. That was unbeknownst to me back then when I first tried this. So I'm just getting a mix going here. Nothing special. I'm going to let it run a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a spatula and I'm going to swipe it across. So that's a big spatula. You can also use a little spatula. You can go and zigzag moving. It doesn't have to be straight. Do whatever you want. You can do a partial swipe. See, I missed a spot there. So you can go back over it. You can use any kind of flat edge. This is a thing for spreading frosting, came from a restaurant supply. I'm going to use a little bit of a this flat edge and then I'm going to go to my popsicle stick, which is what I use in that test I did back in July of 16. So I'm just showing you the different things you can use. You can choose any of them, all of them, none of them. You can even use a piece of cardboard. So you can see without even any torching done, this, the removing of the top layer of paint allows the paint with the silicone to rise to the top. It's really done quite a bit on its own, but I'm going to take the torch now and see if we can bring up a few more cells. Okay, so some more cells came up here. Now just because I've done it all doesn't mean I'm, I'm necessarily finished. I can keep messing with this. I usually wipe off my tool if I'm going to put the same tool back. I can say, okay, I want to get some more cells in here. 
or I want to incorporate this a little bit more. You can keep going with this. It's just up to you how much you want to mess with it. Do a little tilting. This is actually pretty nice on its own. Um, you can use this as a jumping off point to add to your painting. Um, it could be a background. Leave it as is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a part two to this painting and I'm going to add to this. So we're going we're gonna to see a, a part two to the swipe technique where we add to a painting. So anyway, I hope you'll try this. It's a pretty foolproof way to get some, some nice cells. Use silicone oil, use your torch, have some fun with it. Again, if you have a, if you have a painting that you don't like and you're ready to abandon it, just try the swipe technique and you might be surprised. It might come out really well. So we'll see you next time.